Hello students, today we are going to derive an expression for amplitude modulated wave. We have already discussed what is amplitude modulation, what all are the factors involving in amplitude modulation. So today we are going to derive an expression for the amplitude modulated wave. As we have already discussed, when there is a modulation of a signal, two types of signal will be involved, right, which are m of t that is the modulating signal as well as the signal which is carrying that information which is the carrier signal. Modulating signal can be represented as a m sin omega m t and c of t that is the carrier signal can be represented as a c sin omega c t. So now let us understand what all are this m of t, c of t, a m a c omega m omega c and not. m of t is nothing but the modulating signal, c of t is nothing but the carrier signal and a m is the amplitude of the modulating signal, a c is the amplitude of the carrier signal, omega m is the angular frequency of the modulating signal and obviously omega c is the angular frequency of the carrier signal. So let me repeat all these things one more time, A m is nothing but the amplitude of the modulating wave, A c is nothing but the amplitude of the carrier wave, omega c is the angular frequency of the carrier wave and omega m is the angular frequency of the modulating wave. As we have already discussed, when a signal is getting modulated, what is happening over there? A low frequency signal is superimposed with the high frequency signal, which means the amplitude or the frequency of omega m is always changing, which means the new amplitude a will be a c plus a m sin omega m t, right, because again omega m is getting changed, which means we are superimposing it with the high frequency wave, which means the amplitude of the modulating signal is getting added with the carrier signal. Is that clear with everyone? Okay. Now we can rearrange this equation as AC plus mu AC sin omega MT. Right. So now you may think from where this mu AC comes. Mu AC is nothing but, here I am writing, mu AC is the modulating factor which means a m upon a c, wherein a m will be equal to mu a c, right, that is what I have substituted over here. So the new amplitude will be a c plus mu a c sin omega m t. Now from this equation I can take a c as common, now I can write a c into 1 plus mu sin omega m t, right. So this is the amplitude modulated wave. Now the instantaneous voltage of the amplitude modulated wave can be written as the instantaneous voltage of the amplitude modulated wave of the AM wave is given by CM of T is equal to AC into this is uh, we have to add this is the amplitude modulated wave which we got. So we are re rewriting is 1 plus mu sin omega m t into sin omega c t, right. Why I have added with uh, sin omega c t? This is the amplitude modulated wave. Now the instantaneous voltage of this amplitude modulated wave which means we are superimposing a high frequency wave. We had already superimposed the a high frequency wave with a low frequency wave, then the instantaneous voltage of the amplitude modulated wave will be this much. So when we are rearranging this equation, we will be getting A C sin omega C T plus mu A C by 2 into 2 sin omega C T into sin omega M T. So now if you are looking uh, to this equation, this is in the form sin A sin, right. So we can rearrange this equation as A C sin omega C T 
प्लस म्यू ए सी बाई टू इन टू कॉस ओमेगा सी माइनस ओमेगा एम इन टू टी माइनस कॉस ओमेगा सी प्लस ओमेगा एम इन टू टी विच इज साइन ए साइन बी फॉर विच इज कॉस ए माइनस बी माइनस कॉस ए प्लस बी सो दिस इज एक्चुअली वॉट दिस इज नथिंग बट सी एम ऑफ टी विच इज द instantaneous voltage of our amplitude modulated wave so when we are rearranging our final equation we will be getting the amplitude modulated wave as cm of t is equal to ac sin omega ct minus mu ac by 2 cos omega c plus omega m of t minus mu ac by 2 cos omega c minus omega m t this will be a this will be the final equation or the final expression for a amplitude modulated wave so i am repeating one more time how we have derived the amplitude modulated wave the expression for amplitude modulated wave we have already learned if we want to modulate a signal then there should be a modulating signal as well as the carrier signal the modulating signal is nothing but the information which has to get modulated right so that signal is represented by am sin omega mt and the signal which is carrying this modulated signal or the modulating signal is carrier signal which is represented as ac sin omega ct so the amplitude after modulation will become ac plus am sin omega mt which is ac plus mu ac sin omega mt from where we got this mu ac from the modulation factor or the modulation index mu is equal to am upon ac from there we have taken this equation so now we can take ac as common then the equation will be coming ac into 1 plus mu sin omega mt right so this is the amplitude wave now when the instantaneous voltage now the instantaneous voltage of the amplitude modulated wave is cm of t which is ac into 1 plus mu sin omega mt into sin omega ct then we rearrange the equation and by substituting the trigonometrical uh, substitution that is 2 sin a sin b which is equal to cos a minus b into cos a plus b we got the final equation for the amplitude modulated wave that is ac sin omega ct minus mu ac upon 2 cos omega c plus uh, omega mt minus mu ac upon 2 cos omega c minus omega m into t